While keeping the journalists abreast with the activities of the troops in the theater of operations in the last two weeks, the director of defense media operation urged the civil populace and civil societies to governance support in the whole of society approach to facilitate the total defeat of terrorists in the country, adding that the military is working decisively to kill the terrorists, dismantle their networks, and create conditions whereby they cannot carry out acts of terror or harm citizens. It is unacceptable for any person or group to take up arms against the country. And any one or group that takes up arms against the country, be sure that you are inviting military action and we will decisively, decisively take actions to deal with you. The ones that happened in Ibadan are very fortunate that we did not get to the scene as the first responders. Wearing uniform and carrying arms, you are dead now. And now I'm speaking from the military point of view on these matters. In the week on that review, the Director of Defense Media Operation reels out that troops neutralized 192 terrorists and arrested 341 persons while rescuing 62 kidnapped hostages. 3 PKT guns, 15 fabricated guns, over 900 rounds of 7.62 meter special ammunition, among others. Troops in the Niger Delta area discovered and destroyed 99 dugout pits, 36 storage tanks, and 192 cooking ovens. During the process, the troops recovered 349,970 liters of stolen crude oil, 112,135 liters of illegally refined AGO, 7,560 liters of DPK, and 13,000 liters of PMS. The troops destroyed illegal refining sites. Troops arrested in Bompers, in Ugu, and Ethiopia, next local government area of Delta State. Thereafter, troops conducted raid operations to Southern Ujo and Akinima, local government areas of Bayesa and River States. Overall, the troops of Operation Delta C recover over 790,000 liters. The military high command says it will continue to fight and defeat the enemy so as to create a safer environment for citizens. Rebecca Goffey, reporting for BTV News.